Hi, I'm Tom Mansfield. This is another one of my videos discussing using the T5 system to accelerate patient flow and improve patient care by increasing efficiency. In this video, I will show you several examples of how T system EV changes all those circles and backslashes into dictation like text. Because this happens instantaneously, your history and your physical exam and your progress notes are always available to the nurses, the catching physician, and all of your patient's other providers. T-System EV's report is very concise and to the point. It is very readable. We don't have time for a PDR version. Because T-System EV is so readable, it is more likely that all of the others caring for your patient will actually read your charting. T-System EV is unique. It was designed for ease of use. It was designed for our needs. It was designed to make it easier for us to chart and order at the bedside with our patients at the point of care. First, I will show a typical chart. Second, some labs. And third, several procedures. I will first show how the circles and backslashes on a typical chart look in its dictation-like form. Here is our status board. In the room view, in the A area of the emergency department. There is an unassigned patient, Nancy Logan, who complains of abdominal pain. No physician has signed up for her yet. To choose Nancy Logan, tap anywhere on the room 12 row. Now it becomes highlighted or gray colored. And now the four buttons on the left become active. Tap on the history button. Choose your template from the template picker. Double tap on abdominal pain. And the abdominal pain template pops up. Do your charting while you're talking with Nancy. 80% is simple tapping, which goes very quickly. A few lines have to be expanded upon. For instance, previous surgery. Tap on that line. Tap tubal ligation in the pop-up box. Then tap on family history. Choose gallbladder, then mother and sister in the Phrase Builder pop-up box. Now tap the exam button. Tap out the physical exam. 80% of this goes quickly. Now tap the line next to tenderness. Tap the moderate and the right upper quadrant in the Phrase Builder pop-up box. Now you would see POE, the labs, radiology, and medications, which all would be started in the T5 area, and Nancy Logan would be moved to a bed in the emergency department. Here is what the nurse in the back and the catching physician would see by pressing View Clinical. The nursing chart could be viewed by pressing View Nursing. In the next section, we will see how the labs show up. But now, let's go to the catching physician. After the labs and radiology are back, Dr. Jacobson shows them to his patient. He can now just paste the labs into the chart or comment on them individually as normal or the actual value. He can document the ultrasound result. He can tap on the decision making and tap out the differential diagnosis based on button and tap out his choices. Then tap the causes of abdominal pain unlikely and tap out his choices on that also. Then Dr. Jacobson can tap on the reevaluation button and easily tap out the reevaluation choices. Then tap Apply, and this is what it is added into the Progress Note area. And here is this tapping translated into easy-to-read text. 
Next is the lab results. You notice on the interactive status board that Bill Jones is ready for physician reevaluation. Red denotes that an action is needed. His CBC, EKG, and X-ray are completed, as denoted by the green line through the orders. But you also noted a red highlighted chem panel, which means that it has an abnormal lab value. Now tap on the lab results. You can see them easily with H or L, high or low, but also you see the LL, which brings your attention to the abnormal sodium. You show this to Mr. Jones on your tablet computer. You tell him that you're going to admit him to the hospital for further treatment. You tap the update my note, and now this group of labs are added to your progress note in this form, still with the H, L, and LL, denoting the abnormal values. And now this is how it appears on his chart, condensed and very readable. Now on to procedures. These are easy to tap out. They give a very precise narrative of what we have done. First up is attending note. Tap on this circle. Tap out the choices, and here is the printed report. Now central line placement. Tap here, and the tap off list appears. Tap for site to pick the side and site. Tap out your choices, and here is the printed report. Next is conscious sedation. Tap here, and the tap off list appears. Tap for indication. Tap to open last meal phrase builder. Tap out your choices. And here is the printed report. All of the other procedures work in the same easy, quick, tap and go manner. Since you are doing all of these on your tablet computer, you can do this in the room with your patient. You can order your meds right there. You can order your post-procedure radiology right there also. And right there, you check the status board and go right on to your next patient. No going back and forth to a desk in order to chart. I hope that you you have seen how easy and effective T-System EV is and how it does enable us to finish all of our charting at the bedside or chair side right with the patient. This is not a new concept. We always did this before computerized charting. We carried a clipboard into the room and talked to our patient and charted and wrote out our aftercare and prescriptions right there in the room with our patient. It was only after the computerization that we had to leave our patients in the room and go and sit in front of a computer for a long time and then go back to give the instructions and prescriptions to the patient who had been wondering where we were and what we had been doing. T-System EV allows us to get back to where we were before computers separated us from our patients. But T-System EV also gives us so much more information at our fingertips. And now our chart is readable at any time for the nurses in the emergency department and the admitting floor nurses, the catching physician of our T5 system patient, the admitting physician, and our patient's primary care physician also. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I hope these videos have helped you visualize how the T5 system works and how it can enable us to accelerate patient flow and improve patient care by increasing efficiency. Feel free to contact me for any other questions that are not answered in the Frequently Asked Questions section.